Hello, hello, and welcome back. We are now starting video 10. I'm going to call this Crochet Sets. And I'm pricing everything by the set. So first up is A. A is too very pretty, whether it's for a dresser, a vanity. Uh, I'm doing it this way because it fits better in frame. These are a set of two with beautiful lace, hand embroidery, measures 15 by almost six. So we have this one. Look at that. Fabric is, feels like a linen. There's the back. So you can see it's done by hand. And then this one has got a little sunflower on it. This is a little bit different crochet. Looks like two different threads. And here's the back. And what I think this would be nice, yes, if you could put it actually in a frame. Have you ever seen those very pretty trays? Uh, they make rectangle trays and ovals and rounds, and they put this under glass, and then you have a tray. Put it in a frame or... Wouldn't this make a very pretty journal cover this way? Or you could make a pocket out of it, right? Or you can make one of those cute little envelopes and either make it into a sachet or keep little hankies in it. Look at this. Put a little button on here. How cute is that? Sew up the side. You could have a little purse. So this is set A, and I'm asking $6. So that's for set A, $6. Set B is a set of three. So I just wanted to show you, I mean, each one of these could be cut up if you wanted to, to make little doily books or definitely use it. On your furniture, this could also go on the arm of a chair. And I think I had it backwards. So I have two of these, and these measure nine by 12. Again, cut these up, make them into pockets, make them into little cute little envelopes, put a button, sew up the side. You'd have a cute little pocket there. Would make a great journal cover. Cut all these little pieces out and make different things out of them. So there are two of those. And then the third piece is a runner, whether it's for a dresser, a vanity, Let me take that out of the way for a minute. And she is going to measure 12 by 30, 31. Okay, so this is set number, letter. Da, 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 da. This is letter B for three items, and I'm asking $20. Set C. Are, is, is, are this. There are three of those. They all measure the same. So from end to end, we have almost 17 and a half by 10. Each one of these can be cut out. You have, you can make dangles with these, bead on them, put this on fabric, embroider over it. You could make, if you're doing one of those large journals, this would make a great belly band or uh, on a page you have a pocket. Again, cut all these up. There's so many variety of things we can do with these. So this is a set of 
three. And this is, I forgot to put the letter on it, C. And she is $8. Number D. D is this crochet. Again, all you have to do is cut right there. Doily books, belly bands, individual little pockets. And this is a set of two. Let's measure. Uh, we'll measure end to end this way, I guess. What does that say? 12 by. You can use these for arm covers by seven. You, again, what a cute little book cover this could make, whether it's shabby chic. Listen, you can dye this, coffee dye it, rust dye it, writ dye it, grunge it up. This is a set of two for $5. And that's D. E. This is coral and we have five of these and look at how many come in each of these little squares so that's one two three four and five very pretty coral you know you can even bead on this um doing this set for eight dollars okay so that's e five pieces for eight dollars next i have this little set aren't these cute look at all that yeah very simple you cut right there at the thread to get all your little individual pieces Twelve and a half. By seven. Two of these. And I'm asking the letter F. Five dollars. There's any pink girls out there. This is a set of two runners. They measure 30 by 13. This is just a, unfortunate to my table. <laughs> but look at that, isn't that pretty? I just wanted to show you the other side. It's a little basket. It's pink for all the pink lovers. If it's too pink, coffee dye it. Rit dye it. Cut it up. Use it in a quilt. Look at that. Wouldn't that make a great purse? You can actually make two purses out of that. But do you see what I'm saying? You just sew up the sides. That's where you can put all your goodies in. How about for your hankies? So we have 30 by 13. This is set number G. She's $8. H, I love H. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a very pale blue. That's the back. So there's two of these. These measure 11, five and a half. Use them as they are. Make cute little books out of them. So this is a set of two, and this is H. H is $6. Oopsie. Then we have I. It's three pieces. The 
there's a little wear over here. So these are three pieces. Two are the same. One is a little bit larger. And since I just spotted a couple of other little signs of stain, we're going to do this three for five. Letter I. And then last but not least are these squares. There's 16 squares. Most of them approximately measure eight by eight. Again, you can cut up each one individually, make it into a book, make them into pockets. I'm doing two packs and it will be seven pieces to a pack. They're $15 each. So we'll make this uh, oh, let me see. I'm sorry. J and K. So in case somebody wants one or both. So that's seven and seven. Thanks again for watching. I know this was a little longer video, but it's kind of difficult uh, when you have linens, right? And things like that to show. So I'm doing my best. I'm not ready to go live yet. I'm sorry. I'm just not set up yet, but tune in. There will be more videos coming. I do have many linens. We've got tablecloths. I think I even have curtains. I have a lot of runners, whether it's for a dresser, a vanity table, um, a lot of stuff to cut up. I believe I'm giving you really great prices. Feel free to let me know if you agree or disagree. So, that's it for this round of crochet sets. Thanks for watching. Please share if you know anyone who's in search of some nice linens and things, crochet things. Like and subscribe. Feel free to comment. And please make sure that notification bell is on so you know the next time video 11 will appear. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you who have watched the videos, have hit the like button for me, and have emailed me. So again, if we're interested in any, email me at findingsbyjnm at gmail.com. Let me know what you would like. Thanks, everyone. Really appreciate it. Bye now.